Uh, Michael Burton from the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Jacob, this question is for you. Um, it sounds like you're collecting quite a bit of qualitative data uh, from the astronauts and their experience viewing uh, the moon. And as we start to think about Mars in the future, along this mission, are you getting some uh, qualitative data on their emotions, on their feelings, and how that might affect their judgment um, going forward into deeper space beyond the moon? Yeah, that's a great question, and I, I just want to point straight back to the fact that we have an integrated research campaign for this trip, because most of what I described is really trying to understand how the human being responds to being in this deep space environment. And I talked a lot about how these activities will help us understand their immune system. So there's, there's the, the core of just a hum, human being in general, but there's a good bit trying to understand, you know, are they able to repeat the same types of activities at the same level? Is there any change in the way they're operating? How are they interacting with each other? And I think that gets to what you're asking is really driving towards how they work as a team and maximizing their ability to, to do that, to get the jobs done that, w that we're giving to them. Because that really helps us understand how to plan missions, how much time we have to work with. And so again, going through a lot of the activities that Debbie and Matt described, like exercising in a small space, right? Like are we getting in each other's way? Can we find ways to do these jobs uh, so that we can get through it. So you're right there, there's a lot of quantitative data, there's a lot of qualitative data, and we want to see them go through these different activities so we can really judge that. And then we'll compare with when they get back to Earth, you know, how are they doing when they get back here as well? Great, one more in the room.